Andrian Nikolaev and Vitaly Sevastyanov were both Soviet cosmonauts who flew together on the Soyuz 9 mission in 1970. The Soyuz 9 mission was launched on June 1, 1970 and lasted for 17 days, which at the time was a new record for human spaceflight endurance. During their mission, Nikolaev and Sevastyanov conducted a number of scientific experiments and observations, including studies of the Earth's atmosphere and ionosphere. The Soyuz 9 spacecraft also tested new technologies and systems that were later used in other Soviet space missions. The mission was considered a great success, both in terms of its scientific achievements and its endurance record. Nikolaev had previously flown on the Vostok 3 mission in 1962, becoming the third person to orbit the Earth. Sevastyanov had not flown in space before Soyuz 9, but would later go on to fly on the Soyuz 18A mission in 1975. Andrian Nikolaev was born on September 5, 1929, in the city of Shakunya, in the Russian Soviet Federative Socialist Republic, now part of the Nizhny Novgorod Oblast, Russia. Before becoming a cosmonaut, he served as a fighter pilot in the Soviet Air Force. He was selected as a cosmonaut in 1960 and flew on his first space mission, Vostok 3, in 1962. After Soyuz 9, he flew on one more space mission, Soyuz 22, in 1976. In total, Nikolaev spent over eight days in space. Vitaly Sevastyanov was born on July 8, 1935, in Chita, in the Russian Soviet Federative Vitaly Socialist Cry, Republic, Russia. Now Before becoming a cosmonaut, he studied engineering and worked in the Soviet aerospace industry. He was selected as a cosmonaut in 1966 and flew on Soyuz 9 as his first and only space mission as a commander. After the mission, he continued to work in the Soviet space program as a manager and engineer. Sevastyanov passed away on April 5, 2010, in Moscow, Russia. The Soyuz 9 mission was the fourth manned mission in the Soviet Soyuz program, and it was a significant achievement in Soviet space exploration history. The success of the mission paved the way for longer duration missions in space and demonstrated the capabilities of Soviet spacecraft and cosmonauts. During the Soyuz 9 mission, Nikolaev and Sevastyanov conducted experiments in the fields of meteorology, biology, medicine, and geophysics. They also conducted observations of the Earth's atmosphere and ionosphere, and tested new technologies and systems on the Soyuz spacecraft. One of the main goals of the mission was to study the effects of prolonged spaceflight on the human body. Nikolaev and Sevastyanov were monitored closely by ground-based medical teams, and they collected data on their physiological and psychological responses to long-duration spaceflight. Their successful 17-day mission demonstrated that humans could withstand the rigors of extended spaceflight and paved the way for future long-duration missions, including the Soviet Union's Soviet first space station was not without its challenges, one. however. The cosmonauts encountered problems with the spacecraft's attitude control system, which made it difficult to maintain their desired orientation in space. They also experienced equipment failures and difficulties with their food and water supplies. Despite these challenges, Nikolaev and Sevastyanov were able to complete their mission and return safely to Earth on June 19, 1970. Overall, the Soyuz 9 mission was a major accomplishment in the history of human spaceflight, demonstrating the capabilities of Soviet spacecraft and cosmonauts and paving the way for future missions and space stations. The Soyuz 9 mission was also significant in terms of international cooperation. During their mission, Nikolaev and Sevastyanov conducted radio transmissions with other countries, including the United States, Japan, and several European nations. These transmissions demonstrated the potential for peaceful collaboration and communication between nations through space exploration. The Soyuz 9 mission also had a lasting impact on the Soviet space program. The success of the mission led to the development of longer-duration missions, such as the Soyuz 11 mission in 1971, which set a new record for human spaceflight endurance with a mission lasting 23 days. It also paved the way for the Soviet Union's first space station, Salyut 1, which was the launched Soyuz in 1970. Used in the Soyuz 9 mission served as the basis for subsequent Soyuz spacecraft, which have been used for over 50 years and remain the primary means of transportation for crew members to and from the International Space Station. Overall, the Soyuz 9 mission was a significant achievement in the history of human spaceflight, demonstrating the capabilities of Soviet spacecraft and cosmonauts, and paving the way for future missions and international cooperation in space exploration. The Soyuz 9 mission was not without its risks, as any space mission inherently involves significant dangers. For example, a malfunction in the Soyuz spacecraft's re-entry system during the Soyuz 11 mission in 1971 resulted in the death of three Soviet cosmonauts. The Soyuz 9 mission also had its share of challenges and equipment failures, 
but fortunately the cosmonauts were able to complete the mission and return safely to Earth. Despite the risks involved, space exploration has continued to capture the imaginations of people around the world. The accomplishments of early space programs, including the Soviet Union's pioneering achievements in spaceflight, have inspired generations of scientists, engineers, and space enthusiasts. Today, space exploration continues to be an area of active research and development. The International Space Station, which has been continuously inhabited since 2000, serves as a hub for international cooperation Private and companies space are also entering the space industry, with the goal of making space travel and exploration more accessible and affordable. Overall, the Soyuz 9 mission and the broader history of human spaceflight remind us of the potential for scientific exploration and international cooperation to achieve remarkable feats and push the boundaries of what is possible. In addition to its scientific and technological achievements, the Soviet space program, of which the Soyuz 9 mission was a part, was also a symbol of the Soviet Union's political and ideological power during the Cold War. The Soviet Union invested significant resources into its space program, seeing it as a way to demonstrate its technological prowess and surpass the United States in the space race. The success of the Soyuz 9 mission and other Soviet achievements in spaceflight, such as the launch of the first artificial satellite, Sputnik 1, in 1957, and the first human in space, Yuri Gagarin, in 1961, were celebrated as significant accomplishments in Soviet propaganda. Today, while the political context of the Cold War has changed, space exploration remains an area of national pride and competition between countries. The United States and Russia continue to lead the world in space exploration, but other countries such as China and India are also investing in their own space programs space and striving to make their mark to in the field. It is likely to remain an area of scientific discovery, technological advancement, and international cooperation and competition for years to come. The Soyuz 9 mission and other early space missions also had significant cultural impacts, inspiring countless works of art, literature, film, and music. The awe-inspiring achievements of the Soviet cosmonauts and American astronauts captured the imaginations of people around the world, sparking new ideas and fueling creativity. For example, the Soyuz 9 mission inspired the Soviet-era film, To the Stars by Hard Ways, which tells the story of a group of cosmonauts on a mission to explore a distant planet. The film's imagery and themes reflected the Soviet Union's hopes and aspirations for the future of space exploration. In music, the Soyuz 9 mission inspired the song, Lonely Flight, by the Soviet rock band Machine of Remini. The song, which tells the story of a cosmonaut's journey through space, became a hit in the Soviet Union and remains popular today. The cultural impact of early space missions like Soyuz 9 continues to be felt today, with space exploration serving as a source of inspiration and imagination for artists, writers, and filmmakers around the world. Finally, the Soyuz 9 mission and other early space missions also had significant impacts on the fields of science and engineering, providing valuable insights and data on the effects of spaceflight on the human body, as well as these early missions laid the groundwork for the continued exploration of space, and their legacy can be seen in the ongoing research and development efforts in the field of space exploration today. The Soyuz 9 mission also had an impact on the field of astronomy. During their mission, Nikolaev and Sevastyanov conducted a number of experiments to study the behavior of the Sun and the Earth's atmosphere from space. They observed solar flares and other phenomena, providing valuable data for astronomers and solar physicists. In addition, the mission helped to advance the field of remote sensing, which involves the use of satellite data to study the Earth's surface and atmosphere. The Soyuz 9 spacecraft was equipped with cameras and other sensors that were used to take images and measurements of the Earth from space. This data helped to improve our understanding of the planet's geology, weather patterns, and other natural processes. The Soyuz 9 mission also had implications for international relations, demonstrating the potential for peaceful cooperation and collaboration between nations in the field of space exploration. The joint radio transmissions between Nikolaev and Sevastyanov and their counterparts in other countries helped to build bridges between the Soviet Union and other nations, promoting understanding and communication. Finally, the Soyuz 9 mission helped to pave the way for future missions and space stations. The success of the mission and spaceflight, and the Soviet Union went on to launch several other manned missions of increasing duration, including the record-breaking Soyuz 11 mission in 1971. Overall, the Soyuz 9 mission was a significant milestone in the history of human spaceflight, demonstrating the capabilities of Soviet spacecraft and cosmonauts in paving the way for future missions, scientific discoveries, and international cooperation in space exploration.